guys, this is Maline from Maline Budgets. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I'm so sorry I've been MIA, but you know, I've been uh, to the Electric Castle Music Festival and I had some work to catch up on for my like daily job. So I couldn't do the um, rollover money video on Sunday or Monday because we have a big fat zero rollover for this week apart from me taking money from the entertainment fund. So yeah, I didn't do much overspending, but I did buy a dress and I had to do some gro groceries and buy stuff for the kitties. So all in all, it added up and we have zero. I mean, I'm lying. I have a couple of other bucks, but I am in no mood to stuff them today because we want to finish some savings challenges in my summer binder. So we only have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. I didn't even pull out my cash tray because we will probably not need it. So we are going to skip to the quarter three from Caro Cash because we are in week 30 of the year and this one is a big one, it's a 35, okay? So let's do 35 in here and I'll do a little bit of story time of how the music festival went. It was amazing, we had a blast. Uh, we weren't there on um, Wednesday uh, when it was day zero, we only went from Thursday to uh, Sunday, and we had Thursday and Friday off of work, and that was amazing. We mostly went like from 2 p.m. up until midnight or 2 a.m. sometimes, so we were there for about 10 to 12 hours per day, and we actually didn't overspend. We just had um, some nice food, we got some pastries, we got uh, burgers, pasta, we had quesadillas with loaded fries, uh, which were awesome. So we are not like party goers, but we do enjoy our concerts. We only had like literally two beers each per day and we hydrated ourselves from the little that was in the campground. I find it amazing that every year they managed to build a such a beautiful like mini city on that field and near the forest uh, it's mind-blowing like they had all kinds of fun activities this year uh, the bumper cars were back the arcade um, we had hot air balloons and I took a couple of pictures they looked brilliant the ferris wheel which is a standard so we will just end this one it should be 25 30 okay And the prices uh, were not that high. Like uh, for the bus tickets to and from the festival, they were 25 per way. So 50 as in 10 bucks per day <coughs> to travel back and forth. And uh, that uh, amounted to 200. And I did a top up on my bracelet for another 200 for the meals that we had there, the drinks, because everything was cashless and I'm struggling with that yeah regarding the lineup like on Saturday and Sunday um, it was kind of meh because like the Chemical Brothers had cancelled because one of them had a new infection and they couldn't perform anymore or uh, travel with via airplane so uh, we had a lot of uh, DJs, Romanian bands, um, there was uh, Morchiba and Sigur Ross. of course they were awesome, Sky from Morchiba is amazing, uh, and she designed her own dress and answered pictures afterwards, but they're kind of like uh, main stage performers, like they are big bands and they cost a lot to bring, but their music is not a very energetic one it's more like a lounging on a sofa or acoustic type 
So, but there were a lot of music genres there from uh, pop, punk, rock, metal, um, all kinds of DJs, reggae, um, acoustic, everything. There was also Tash Sultana. Um, she's uh, born in Malta, but uh, she's from Australia. So I will just assume that Liz knows who I'm talking about. She's like a one woman band. She's an amazing artist and my boyfriend uh, loves her music. It's kind of uh, psychedelic and reggae stuff, but she plays a ton of instruments. Okay, so in Danielle's challenge, we should have a 100 and let me get 50, 60, 70, 80, 91. Okay, that's perfect. And we still have this money to play with. So we still have a 100 here and I put this to the side and this was empty and it will be replaced with the August version, of course. Among other um, artists, there was uh, a band called <clears throat> Frank and the Rattlesnakes uh, that my boyfriend likes. Uh, they're like punk and they actually did a mosh pit only for girls. Um, and he dedicated a song to one of the ladies in the public and that was amazing. And nothing but thieves, but uh, they came at almost every edition of this festival. This one was the ninth edition, so for next year's 10th, I am expecting some big names. We also saw um, Closey, uh, Taiga, Pendulum. Pendulum was amazing on the main stage. I know they're kind of DJ, but they also played live instruments, so that's nice, but we still didn't um, attend the entire concert because uh, you can kind of play them at your house and they sound the same and it's just DJ music like um, that type of music was uh, daily at the hangar and we also had the radio stage uh, where all the 80s hits were playing that was amazing that was like next to the little supermarket one of the surprises uh, for me was the band The Who. I don't know if you know them. It's H-U. Um, they're from Mongolia and they're like throat singers. Um, they sing metal songs. Um, I think Chelsea from Cats Eat My Budget might know them. They were brilliant. I'll insert a comment with links towards a couple of the bands that were playing uh, some of the bigger names. In case you're interested, so uh, Lisa's July one gets a 15, so this should be a total of 60. I don't know how I'm not messing this up. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Awesome. How much do we have? <clears throat> we still have a 20. Let's see what we can do in Ryan's. So 10, 14, no. No, I changed my mind. Let me take a quick look and see if, if we can finish off Nita's challenge. This one, need, this one needs a 48. So if I put everything in here, let's see. We have 10, 20, 30, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4. 44, we'll leave it at that. So we'll be coloring in everything except for a 4. Okay, so 10, 20, 30, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, fine with me. Okay, so one of my top favorites um, was George Ezra. He is such a sweetheart. He really enjoyed uh, singing along with the public and uh, letting us like cover him literally. 
on the chorus. And I will be posting two of the videos uh, that are the higher quality. Of course, some of you might know Budapest and Shotgun. Absolutely love those songs. Uh, one day I want to be traveling and visiting Budapest and singing that song. And of course, the dress that I bought was for his concert because his lyrics say Time flies by in the yellow and green. Stick around and you'll know what I mean. So yeah, I found that fitting. I found that perfect. And I actually um, asked my boyfriend to take a couple of pictures of me inside some honeycomb ensembles, uh, like pieces of decor there, uh, because they reminded me of all the challenges that we're doing with honeycombs, especially Lisa's. And Okay, so we're almost done with this one. I'm not even mad that we can't color in that four. Okay. So all of this is going into my empty Mermaid with Heart box. And speaking of mermaids, I also had um, like a goth Ariel uh, t-shirt and um, a skirt that was like flowy and purple with blue and it was perfect because they had like a, a dark uh, purple forest um, with some lights there they had fireflies okay now top two like macklemore was brilliant i didn't know he was such a nice guy and so down to earth and he even discovered a lady who makes hand puppets and he wanted to support her and he bought puppets for uh, himself and for the kids and that was so sweet and at some point uh, during one of the songs he actually stopped and he told the public who was filming all of the concert of course because that's what uh, teens do oh my god I hate it so much um, he told them like okay guys take one or two pictures, make a video, whatever, but no post, no video on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube will uh, come even close to listening and enjoying live music. So he just um, advised everyone to enjoy his music, to dance, to sing. And the last song that he did, Can't Hold Us, that one was brilliant. All of his musicians had a choreography. Um, he was uh, wearing a traditional Romanian blouse. He was waving a Romanian flag. He got onto the fence, helped by the fans, and uh, confetti was flying all around, and everyone was singing and dancing, and it was just brilliant. So I actually like him as an artist and as a rapper. You can have fun on his music, I guess. And he's a kind soul. I didn't actually know that about him. So that was nice. And last but not least, let's see how fast we can get the copyright strike. My most expected headliner was Iggy Pop, of course. I had to see Iggy. He's... <coughs> He's, he's a force, like he comes on the stage, we're cheering him, he spits, he flips us off, he's such a Rene, but he loves us, I know that. And like the crowd was amazing and the way he would like communicate with us and uh, make us sing, especially the chorus for The Passenger and Lust for Life. Lust for Life especially was brilliant because it started to uh, rain a bit and no one cared. Some of them put their colorful raincoats on but it didn't matter because everyone was jumping up and down and singing and dancing and it was such an amazing energy. And now I need something to draw, okay? So we'll pretend this is the stage 
Let's pose the stage, okay? And over, and here were Iggy's musicians, and over here was another strip of stage where he could walk and like go up front, whatever. Here were some tiny fences along the stage, along the side of the stage strip, and we were right here. Here is me, okay? And during the song Raw Power, Iggy went down the stairs on this side and he started to touch his fans, to give them handshakes and high fives and whatever, and he was making his way across. Like, I was telling my boyfriend, oh my god, I'm going to faint. This, this is for real. This is happening. And he comes here. <clears throat> and he puts his hand on the fence, on the railing. And I put my hand over his. And then he moves a bit to the side. And I touch his like arm, his forearm. I don't know why I did that. I'm weird. I know. But I wanted to feel his skin. And do you know what it feels like? It's absolutely incredible. It feels like a leather-bound book. He's so beautiful. Like, he's 76, but he has so much energy. And during that song, Raw Power, he was still uh, right by the fence next to me. Uh, the instrumental part was still playing, but the chorus um, had to come in. So, he gets the microphone out of his pants yes his trousers he gets the microphone from the front of his pants and he hands it i mean he doesn't hand it he holds it in front of me and a curly haired boy i think he was a teenager or something and we karaoke together on raw power we were on the screen i couldn't look at the screen because i was looking at iggy and that was more important and then he continues to move down through the crowd and um, back up onto the stage and I look back to my boyfriend and I'm like, yeah, I'm done. Uh, this is it. <clears throat> and then we both started laughing hysterically because he's like, no one's gonna believe you. No one. Absolutely no one. But guys, is it really a concert when something crazy doesn't happen or when I'm not a groupie and... Yeah, or I'm not making the news. I am still hoping to find a video where you can see myself uh, between the 58,000 people uh, touching Iggy. So I'm still keeping my fingers crossed for that. Oh yeah, and you know what I wore to Iggy's concert, right? It was an 80s inspired outfit with uh, the Delaware t-shirt that I received from Robin Folk, my friend. And I did take her advice of cutting the neck of the shirt to uh, wear it like off shoulder and it looked awesome. You will see pics later on. And regarding Iggy, I saw a post uh, from one of my friends on my Facebook feed and this totally resonates with me. Um, last night I saw Iggy Pop, the grandfather of punk rock music. He's 76. This man was old when I was young. But today I am old and he was young. Like, yeah, that's it. I have no words. And also, if you do watch the video below um, of the passenger, you will notice that he's kind of limping and he has scoliosis. Um, he does have a shorter leg. Uh, his right leg is 1.5 inches shorter than his left one because um, he got run over by a big guy uh, when he was playing football in junior high. So I'm so uh, sad for him that he had to live with this uh, for most of his life and that his spine is uh, pretty bad. And also he did uh, put a lot of stuff in his body and he shared many things with David Bowie, uh, Lou Reed, Nick Cave in the 60s and the 70s. But 
at least in uh, the 80s he had a wake-up call and he uh, and he came to the conclusion that uh, he couldn't keep uh, living like this and keeping the same lifestyle oh and by the way uh, during one of the last songs uh, Iggy was actually trying to do a stage dive he was approaching us and he tried to jump and I think then he had a flashback of the fact that in 2011 at another Romanian concert um, the Peninsula Festival he did a stage dive and he broke a couple of bones in his foot and he had to cancel all of the US date tours so yeah and do you know what he did he spent a couple of weeks on our um, at our local bars on the lounging in the sun with his foot propped up on the table I know that from a couple of friends who uh, live uh, near that city where he was so yeah that was a bummer but I would have loved it if he had stage dive okay so now uh, the super early bird tickets for um, Electric Castle 10 for next year were already on sale and they were $80 so for 22 Ron approximately <coughs> It was almost 100 uh, cheaper than last year's tickets, so in we instantly bought them. Of course, the entertainment fund took a hit again. It will almost be depleted. But for $80, you cannot see, you cannot even see one band in Bucharest on a stadium. So, yeah, take that, um, take that into consideration. So for four days of fun and a couple of uh, huge names, I'll take it. Like, it's a, it's a good price. Because, by the way, the Coldplay tickets uh, for next year in Romania have already sold out with over 55,000 people per day. And they were over 300 and $400. So no way in hell am I going to that. But now I'll leave you with a couple of pictures from the festival. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's a long one and it, I'm talkative and I'm not um, used to that. So I love you all. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.